Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries for the month of April. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, if you still don't find them there, then check back with me in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So let's begin. It feels like for whoever, whomever this is for, um, you're looking to try to heal a relationship or to heal yourself. Um, you're shedding light on this. Um, you do have the devil in the reverse, so that he definitely came upright uh, at one time. So, I, I, I mean, it could be that you were in a toxic relationship with someone. Um, you were in possibly a relationship with someone who was very controlling, who made you many, plenty of promises, but never kept them. You have the caduceus. And so the caduceus is, again, a, a healing sign. So um, one way or another, it's like uh, there is a healing for you. Um, the caduceus can bring closure to something also that allows you to heal and move on. Um, or it can be speaking to the healing of a relationship. Okay. So let's see where this is going. We have the card of Ascension and we have the Moon. So let's begin with Ascension. Um, it is a journey or a struggle to gain or regain momentum uh, in this relationship. You see, to do this, you got to harness both the will and the emotion. Um, so in other words, the heart and the head, they both must rule if you are to obtain your desires. It's about bringing the two into balance to overcome problems, taking, gaining control or wanting to. What we have here is some forward movement. You're, you're trying to um, gain or regain the momentum on this, uh, on this relationship um, to turn things around when something crosses the path with the moon, something comes to light. You see, there's only one thing lit up on this card. The rest is in the dark and they are the wolves. Wolves are selective. Wolves choose their victim and they watch and they wait. Mm. So one thing is lit up here with the moon um, that is going to put you on your guard with regards to this uh, forward momentum or uh, moving forward with the healing of this relationship. It'll put you on your guard and it will make you watchful and uh, wary, suspicious. It could be that um, it could be that this person uh, that there's been a discussion with them about a healing, but you may be lacking confidence. You could be assessing. Uh, you're not really trusting this person. You see, he's in the upright here, but he's in the reverse here. So we know he doesn't keep his promises. He, it's like he took what you were offering, but, and, and maybe made promises about uh, the cop, but never kept them. And, you know, um, he's very, he can be very charming, but he, in a, a deceitful, manipulative way, this person. 
you will be watchful uh, again with this card being here this page of wands is looking for the signs trying to read the writing on the wall about the balance in this relationship or the balance uh, effort put into the healing by by you know the other side the other person you've been carrying pain um, for quite some time I feel you could be in a um, uh, you could be married or like a marriage you may have children with this person even for some um, and so the um, Ten of Swords is like a how would I say that it's in the reverse it's coming with strength it's like a an in-between stage uh, of an ending and beginning and this in-between rather gray stage can seem to drag on forever and this is because most likely of resistance one way or the other you know it's taking great strength um, just maybe to hold everything together hold yourself together the relationship struggles the um, the lovers is in the reverse or I mean it could be that you're unable to decide with the lovers in the reverse um, you're facing a very great challenge here with the strength card and you're trying to maintain a very calm composure this could be um, a toxic relationship as I said with the devil the, ch the challenge you're facing is whether or not you can heal this and whether or not you can continue to uh, or or not continue let, let's say uh, to make better memories because it was toxic you want you don't want that anymore you want happy memories So something has to shift, something has to change. Um, and so here we, we see the home and uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse on that. So it's upset. Um, you may feel like you don't belong in, in, anymore or they make you feel like you don't belong uh, in your own home, you know. Um, six of wands in the reverse it's like um you could be losing confidence um you didn't uh, or may not to date have uh achieved what you set out to do it's it speaks to uh failed efforts here it speaks to charged air like the energy here is very charged um there could be uh uh, hurtful words that are said between you or uh, or towards you and it's causing a lot of confusion here whether you can actually restore the harmony uh, the peace here or not it's what you want this is you Ramon de Tranquevel um, and this is the sign of Aries so I feel this is you looking at a decision and it's a very emotional decision it's not one you really want to take but this is about a new beginning you have to put an end to the gray area because it's like living in pain you know it's like you know you need to you know you need to change something with the elixir it's like um, uh, it's like um, there can be a strain on the emotional uh, health um it can be a lot of negative thinking uh, a toxic relationship um, it needs attention 
And it is about taking a stand to make these positive changes because you will recognize at some point here, if you haven't already, that you can no longer run from this problem or ignore it or just let things slide anymore. You may just need to rescue yourself here. And so you have the hand of fate and the black cat. So the black cat can speak to that something. You know, you're, um, how would I say? It's like, you, it's like you're moving along in one direction and suddenly uh, something dark will cross your path. Something puzzling, something that puzzles you. Maybe it is even this person's identity or, or their intentions. It's like a, a mystery. It's like a puzzle. Um, it speaks to um, a change in luck, be it good or bad, or a change in path. So you're on one path towards a healing. Something happens that causes you to pause. Um, something that puzzles you and might just change your path you may decide to go a different direction. The hand of fate speaks to forces that are beyond your control that uh, will intervene in your current situation. So it is about um, an opportunity to do something. It could be uh, speaking to justice so it could be a, an opportunity um, to get justice. Um, it could be that things, an opportunity to set things to right. It could be a decision, a judgment. It could be an opportunity to change or to make these changes, to change your direction, to change your life. Overall advice. You have the sad embrace. So you can be entering um, in or or you are in a period where loss is a theme okay so if that's the case take heart because this um whatever is happening may have been for your highest good or is for your highest good um a better more powerful dream will be realized in your life if you can accept what is happening if you can accept the loss. Relationships that are based upon faulty foundations are meant to end at this time. You also have the magic prayer. This is a reminder to you that your prayers will be answered Spirit is always waiting to help you and to heal you when you are in need. Thy will be done through me, thy will and not mine be done. Surrender your wishes and desires to Spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will get what you need. You may not get what you want, but you will get what you need. A better, more powerful dream will be realized once you accept I thank you for watching.
for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has so generously um, sent in a donation to the channel. Many blessings.